Uh, Jack Moore, a friend of mine, once said, if this nation gets by without a punishment from God, then God will be obligated to raise up Sodom and Gomorrah and apologize for burning them up. Now, we know that spiritually they're doing the same thing today. For they are doing it to, for the same purpose. And in the same way that they did in the crucifixion of the Lord physically. They're doing it because of jealousy. Because of spiritual blindness. That they don't want to see. They won't listen to it. Jesus, in his journey here on earth, he said, Well, did Isaiah speak of you? you got eyes that can't see and ears that can't hear. The same reason, the same... Uh, the same purpose and the same reasoning. They're bringing the crucifixion of Christ anew, afresh, as we'll get to it after a while, for the same reasons that they did then. They cannot find nothing against it. They're daring to try to challenge it. And they know the evidence is there. And they know the Bible says so. And the only thing they can do is blaspheme it. Exactly. So, and all this, the same reason. Now, upon this basis, I challenge this generation of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. For crucifying and guilty with dirty, wicked, selfish, denominational hands as crucifying the Prince of Life that wanted to present itself to the people. Notice. They, the worshipers, the man who had looked for the promise, the man who had looked for it to years and ages and with nothing to do but in that constant seminary. But they had divided the word according to the teaching of the seminary. And they had missed the very truth of it. They, the priest, the ministry of that day, there, at their headquarters, they, the ministry of that day, was killing the very God, the very land, the very one that they claimed they were worshiping, they were killing. And today I indict this bunch of ordained ministers in their creeds and denominations. They're crucifying to the people the very God that they claim that they love and serve. I indict these ministers in the name of the Lord Jesus upon their doctrine that claim that the days of miracles is past and the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is not sufficient and not right. Upon any of these words that they have substituted creeds for, I indict them as guilty in the blood of Jesus Christ upon their hands of crucifying afresh the Lord Jesus the second time. They are crucifying Christ to the public. Taking from them the thing that they're supposed to be given to them and they've substituted something else in its place. Amen. A church creed for popularity. 